Cancel. Xbox Home. Xbox My Pins. Go back. Games. Apps. Cancel. Xbox. Music. Cancel. Xbox. Apps. Internet Explorer. Play now. Xbox. Play now. Xbox. Favorites. Scott Hanselman. More options? Settings. Use whole screen? Cancel. Cancel. OK. Xbox? OK. So I'm using the Xbox and now, and this is Windows, uh, not Windows actually, excuse me, this is Xbox on my big screen. This is me moving the cursor, and there's a couple of different ways I can do that. I can do it like this, using my Xbox controller, which is, you know, irritating, but it is what it is. I can move around. Now I happen to have the chat pad, and I highly recommend this, not just for Internet Explorer, but just for anything, uh, being able to chat people. This just plugs right on the back of the... Uh, of the controller and it's just fantastic. Cannot say enough about this. But turns out that this little chat pad that I bought many years ago for texting over Xbox is super super useful useful when I want to go and do something like uh, type into a web browser, a web browser text box. So here I can just uh, hit A and then I've got a keyboard which is again it is what it is but I can just type on the chat pad and that is mirrored up on the screen. But if I have a Windows laptop, like this Windows 8 laptop right here, I can use the touch screen here to control what's going on on the screen. And that becomes, I think, a lot more interesting. So I'm just using my finger here on my little tablet to move around. And here's the cool part. I can actually scroll around and zoom in, which is crazy. So I'm pinching and zooming down here, and I'm getting a pinch zoom experience up on the screen, which is kind of cool. There's a remote button down here. See, it says remote. I can also say play here, and this is kind of fun. If I say play here, it take, took that web page and then brought it down onto my tablet. So it, it moved it, it played it here. If I switch back, over to the smart glass. I can move around and say, well, I want to play, you know, this Brandy song on the Xbox. That's going to go and launch the Xbox music experience. So it's launching the Xbox music on the Xbox itself from here. So this it's this back and forth, and now it wants me to get the... Uh... Oh, so there it's actually playing the music I asked for. While I uh, while it tries to upsell me, which is pretty cool. Uh, Xbox, not now. So it's playing me a preview of her stuff, which is cool. Bing. Um, what can I search for? Bing Green Day. Bing Green Day. Uh, so then it just binged Green Day, Green Day, Xbox, Green Day, play top songs. So while I'm doing this, things are moving around down here too. So I can kind of say, look, there's the Green Day just showed up down here, and then it's showing 
music that is related. Xbox cancel. Xbox home. So now I'm sending it home. So I'm kind of going back and forth, sometimes using the voice, which is actually more useful than I thought it would be, sometimes using the controller, and again this keyboard is really, really useful, and sometimes using this little smart glass idea. So I'm, I'm pretty jazzed, I'm pretty impressed. The thing that's the coolest, I think, is the ability to have the tablet that you probably already have in your pocket, or in your lap, rather, uh, available. So here I'm just going to kind of scroll around. And as I'm scrolling with the tablet, and I'm looking forward to using my iPad, in fact, I can go and pick these things. So that's the new Xbox dashboard along with Xbox Smart Glass. And this happens to be a Windows 8 tablet, but uh, word on the street is that there's going to be uh, iOS, iPad support for this stuff very, very soon.